It's a friend of um, my family. It's a, a sort of connection of ours. Rosanna Todd uh, had uh, been an actress in England, and she'd come back, and she had quite a bit of money, and she didn't know what to do with herself, so she decided to open a theater in Montreal called Open Air Playhouse, in which we would do productions of Shakespeare in the summertime on Beaver Lake, which is on the top of Mount Royal. And uh, it was a lovely idea. It was, she picked a rather attractive mound to do it on. And I played Lysander in Much Ado About, and then um, in uh, Midsummer Night's Dream for her, and, and a small part in As You Like It. Which, and, and then the third play was Cymbeline, and she had the chutzpah to go down to New York and, and knock on the door of this great Russian director who had just finished directing John Gielgud in Crime and Punishment on Broadway and asked him up to Montreal and his name was Fyodor Komisaryevsky. Now he's perhaps one of the real gurus of the 20th century in, in theater and uh, was head of the Imperial Theater in Moscow for many years. Uh, and came over to England and took over the old Vic and did very many revolutionary productions, particularly of Chekhov. He was a famous opposition to Stanislavski in those days. They didn't agree. He didn't agree with anything Stanislavski did and, and vice versa. So there was, there was always a Didn't agree point. in terms of staging or in terms, no, of, in terms of, of method? No, method, in terms of method. Uh, because Commissar Yevsky's point was that if you're going to veer away from, if you're just going to be yourself in everything you do, uh, then you are desecrating the intention of the playwright who might have written a character that was totally different from anything that you ever had. So it was, it was wonderful stuff. And so he attacked the, the, the methods system with great vehemence. Was he reacting against uh, 19th century acting, declamatory acting, or what had turned into melodrama? Was oh, no, he was, he was on, on a par with them as far as that was concerned. Um, he was on a par with Stanislavski when it comes to getting rid of the right. old declamatory style. Oh, yes. Right. He was just as, in fact, he was just as real in his, in, in his way as Stanislavski was in, in his. It was just a different method. His idea was to be instinctive and do what the playwright asked you to do. <laughs> it's not bad, it makes sense. And uh, he was a wonderful old boy. I got him, of course, near the end of his life, but uh, he was very original. He set Cymbeline in, for some incredible reason, don't ask me why, in uh, the Second World War period. Uh, well, maybe there is some sort of uh, the king and uh, ruling the country and so on uh, during a wartime. Um, but <laughs> he had the audacity at the end to have us all, including William Shatner, who was in, in, the, in the production, playing Cloten. I had a bigger part than Bill in that. I was posthumous, and I've never let him forget it since. <laughs> um, he had us all at the end troop off up the hill and over into the sunset, singing, we're off to see the wizard. Now, where he got that from, I don't know, but that's how he ended Shakespeare's Simile. You and Bill Shatner and went the, off. And the entire company going off together singing, we're off to see the, wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Wars. <laughs> I mean, can you believe it? I, I didn't bother questioning him. He was a master, and I wasn't going to. I think he was having slight delirium tremens <laughs> at the end of his life. But, what an extraordinary credit to have, and I've used it ever since, that I practically started my career with one of the greatest directors that had hit the world scene. And theater. what kind of notes would he give you? Well, he was very severe to a lot of the other people, but he was always saying you, he was saying, he always gave the king notes, I remember. A um, person playing the king, simply, saying, you don't act king, you don't act king, I have everyone else make you king, you just walk on, you're so stupid, or, oh, come on like that, you're, you're no king does that. <laughs> he was a bit like that. Perfectly simple, good sense direction. I can't 
tell you what brilliant innovation he had, except for the Wizard of Oz <laughs> moment. Uh, he, was, he was just a, a star in our midst, an, a, a failing and aging star.